Alright. Alright, let me do this one, okay? Okay. Just to start with. Alright, that's fine. Alright, let's see, we got everything set? Yep. Yeah. And a Yep, wrong frequency. Wait when that happens. And a tower 928 Mike Fox, ready for takeoff, for only 27. Evac through 928 Mike Fox, to Aurora Tower, wind 240 at 19 or gust 28. Left turn approved, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 27, uh, 8 Mike Fox. Uh, Shadow, you here? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I got the stick into the wind from where I'm, for what I'm getting ready to go do. Yeah. This is going to be extremely important on the takeoff, like I've been telling you. All right? Okay. Now, if you want, you can even go ahead and look at it as we do this. Okay? Okay. All right, I still got the correction in there. There's the liftoff. And you notice how I did that? Yeah. That's how you got to do it. Okay. Let's see how bumpy it is. Doesn't seem like it's too bad. Alright, go ahead and kill it. How do you think? I think it's fine. Alright, now we're gonna have a lot of correction on this. Whoa! Whoa. Try the approach. Okay. Then we're at tower uh, 920 Mike Fox. Mind if we uh, stay in the pattern for one pass and uh, do a touch and go? Evector 8 Mike Fox, shot, make left or right traffic. Hey, Mike Fox, we'll go left. Gotcha. I haven't gone flying on days like today for a while. Really? Yeah. Just want to make sure it's not going to be pretty. Hairy, especially on the approach. Because if it's going to be hairy, <laughs> it's only supposed to get worse. Is it? Yeah. Staff was saying like gust 32 tomorrow. Really? Yeah. But, you know, if I hadn't put the correction in like I did, yeah. and held it in there, you have to remember that downwind wing would have just kept falling. Even though I had full correction in there. That's why it's extremely important. Evector 8, Mike Foxtrot. Wind 240 at 19 or gust 28. Runway 27, clear touch and go, then left turn approved. Alright, clear touch and go, runway 27, uh, 8, Mike Fox. Carpet. See how well it's going. Obviously, I was a little high. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, it seems like it's pretty bumpy down low, but I mean, up here, it's, yeah, it's, it's all right. Yeah. Not go, we're probably not going to go to Sandwich. Yeah. Now I'm only going to go two notches on this one. Because if I go three, that's a lot of drag. And of course, you get pretty slow. Probably not a good idea on bumpy days like that uh, to go full notches like that. Okay. We've been landing with, tw with two notches anyway.
then the other thing you want to do is when it's gusting. Wow. <laughs> only 33. Wow. In 240 at 23 gust 28. Um, the other thing you want to do is when you're on an approach, you want to take the wind factor. Uh huh. And you also want to add that to your approach speed. Okay. So, like, it's, uh, uh what'd you say it was again? I don't know. I want wind check. Aurora Tower 928, my Fox, uh, wind check real quick. Wind 240 at 22 gusts 28. 22 to 28, so you want to add 4 knots, so we want to be right at 60. Okay. But when it's like 18 to 25, you know, now you got to do some more mental math, probably add another couple knots. And that's if, you know, let's say the uh, uh, gust drops out, you don't lose airspeed. Okay. And look at that wind. This wind is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't get me wrong, this is some good experience for you, but holy crap. Yeah. Alright now you see, I put that I put this in right whoa. I put this in right now. Yeah. Make sure the airplane can handle it. The crosswind? Yeah. That's a lot of wind. Oh. Wind 240 at 21, gust 28. Mike Fox, do you want to go around? Victor 8, Mike Fox, Roger, left turn approved. What do you think? No way. No way, not today? Not today. Alright. Uh, 8, Mike Fox, uh, I'd like to come back and uh, call it a day. Hey, Victor 8, Mike Fox, Roger, make left traffic, runway 27, clear to land. Go to land 27, 8, Mike Fox. Good thing we uh, checked it out, huh? Now, if it was Cushing, I'd, I'd be okay, but we'd do some practice at Cushing, but not here. Yeah, it's just too much. You want to try the approach? Uh, all right. The approach. I, the, all right, you, yeah, I'll try the approach. All right, I can do the landing. Okay. You got the throttle, too. Just, you know, when it comes to bumps like this, just kind of ride them. Okay. You know, I mean, you know, just, it's like bull riding, you know? Yeah. You change the bull, all you can do is hold yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. All right, right here. This gets a little hairy, apparently. Oh, yeah. It's only got 30 degree crosswind. But this sucker's really rocking. Now just remember, you have to account for the crab, you see? Yeah. Alright, you're within four knots and that's good. Just make sure you crab and make sure you're flying straight. You know, just pick something, you know, again, use all the lines and everything on the field and point. Okay. And you're gonna have one hell of a video on this one. Jeez, no kidding. Some good commentary too. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you saw when I came in for that approach, when I pulled the, when I pulled the power, I think just kind of fell out of the sky. Yeah, yep. That's one of the issues that you got to deal with. So you know, this would be a this would be a day when you land with power. Okay. All right, up here. I know, like, right? Nice like and like smooth. Yeah. It just gets hairy when you get down there. And A3 Bank will be ready at the end. Airliner 1883 Mike Aurora Tower, turn left heading 100, runway 27, cleared for takeoff. 
Left one zero zero, clear to go, East Mike. Did you say airliner? Traffic left base yeah. to a mile final evector. Wind two four zero at two one, gust two eight. Yeah, start to frost up on me here. Yeah. I don't like doing that, but I'm going to have to. All right, just fly the approach, right? And keep the uh, Bazzies right. Or the, okay. Sorry, the Bappy. As you can see, you're a little left, so you got to turn over a little bit. Try and get over there. Yep, just a little bit. That's all it takes. He's caution for some birds crossing there just ahead to your left now, it looks like. Thank you. Right at 60, got it trimmed up? Uh, yeah, close to it. Alright, watch your aim point. Good thing we don't have to worry about wake turbulence today. Yeah, the wind just blows it right off, right? Yep. Airliner 83, Mike, those birds are still now to the east of your position. They appear to be southbound. Point, you're getting a little high. Contact the power. And that's the other thing about today. Thanks, Mike. Thank you very much. When you pull the power, it's just going to drop you. Yeah. You can get right on glide path, real simple. And we're sorry, Mike Fox, uh, wind check real quick. Wind 240 at 23, gust 28. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It fell right down. Yeah. All right, whenever you're ready. All right, your airplane. All right, I got it. Come on, honey. Bitch. Get on down. Yeah. That was a fight. Woo! Good work. That was a whoa! <sighs> that was not cool. Vector eight, Mike Foxtrot, turn left to taxiway Charlie, then contact ground. All right, eight, Mike Foxtrot, uh, get off on Charlie and contact ground. Now, let that be a lesson to you. Did you see where I had the stick at? Yeah. When we did that, it was like right here? Yep. That's what I was telling you about uh, the last time when I uh, had that, when I was doing my training. Yeah. How I had the stick like right here and then just picked me up and I did that <laughs> to fix it? Yeah. That was a prime example. I had a gust of wind come in, it picked up that wing so I had to get the correction over there to spoil it to get it back down. Yeah. And Aurora, ground, 8 Mike Fox, uh, off Charlie, back to Aerosol. Victor, 8 Mike Fox, try Aurora, ground, taxi, parking. 8 Mike Fox, taxi, to parking. How's the ride out there today? <laughs> oh, it's nice and smooth up at altitude, but when you get on that approach, it really starts throwing you around. And does it throw you around? Oh, well, we tried. All you can do, right? Yep. I mean, trust me, I've gone flying on days like today down at Cushing, and it's been like no big deal. Yeah. But today is just, <laughs> holy cow.